Well, we've now uh, completed the transformer refit. All seems to be working quite well. We've got it running here. And we are getting RF amplification. This is the um, plate voltage. It's around 2200. And this is the anode current. Key it up. I'm driving it with 50 watts at the moment. And here's the power meter. Putting out about 350 watts on uh, 40 meters with 50 watts drive. And here's the power uh, out with about 80 watts drive. It's just above 400 watts output. So there's the uh, SWR on the HF rig driving, just a little bit over 1.1 uh, to 1. Well we finished all the RF tests, I've adjusted the input tune circuits for the minimum SWR on all bands and <clears throat> that's worked out alright. I'm now looking at fitting a soft start circuit. We put a, uh, a cover over the diode stack. Just so we know it's not too healthy down there. And we have a bit of room in the back here between the, the rear of the um, case and the transformer to fit a soft start circuit. Now, not every linear has it, but I've got the bits, so I might as well try it. And the soft start circuit I'm going to use is very simple. There it is there. You just take um, a bit of volts, in this case there's a tap on the transformer which gives me 27 volts RMS rectified, half wave through our resistor and their capacitor across the relay. The relay I'm using draws 43 milliamps and it's 279 ohms. I've done some timing with the Crow and I get around about a second and a half with a 2200 mic capacitor. So we've sort of laid out a board that we might be able to use in the bits. This is the uh, the big resistor. This is the uh, the relay we're going to use. It's 12 volts and it's 17 amps and it came out of a microwave oven. So it's a pretty decent relay but it's ideal. It's got uh, a couple of uh, spade lugs on the top. So the active will go through that and coming out of the relay contacts will be across this resistor. Uh, spike suppression diode across the coil, rectifier diode, and the 390 ohm dropping resistor. And this little bit of board will, won't have a lot of copper on it. It'll have a milled slot in there to keep the 240 volts away from the lower voltage stuff, as you sometimes see in switch mode supplies. And that will uh, hopefully fit using these holes on the tranny. There's a cutout to clear that cable and it will sit in there, down there. I've now completed the soft start module for this uh, linear amplifier. Here it is here installed at the back of the uh, transformer. Uh, this is a closer look. Uh, there you'll see the 25 watt, 25 ohm resistor and the relay. I'll just turn it on while I've got that like that. There it is. About uh, just under a second. And it takes a few seconds for the relay to de energize and turn off. Here is a closer look of the circuit board mounted off the transformer holes that you see up there. This is the, uh, the high powered resistor. The relay, which is X microwave oven. Conveniently you had a couple of uh, glide-on terminals or spade terminals connections. We have the 240 volts that comes in, goes via the fuse holder and on off switch and then via the relay or via the resistor and relay to the input of the transformer. I've also made a cover as you can see here with a circuit diagram on it so that uh, we know the components are in there and what they do. Here's the top of the board. That cover will 
cover the top of the circuit board so I'm going to uh, install that now so I've now installed the cover as you can see quite neat also made myself some warning labels one for the power transformer and there's also one uh, which I've put over the tag strip down the bottom here just to remind me that there's uh, 240 volts down there so the labels now attached so I can turn the I've plugged the power back in I can turn the linear on there it goes that's the uh, meter switch to the high tension which is uh, around about 2200 volts and as we move slowly around the back here you see the LEDs on telling me that relay is energized and shorting out the soft start resistor at the back of the unit you can see the cover and now we're ready to um, put the uh, box back around the amplifier and uh, start using it here's a closer look at the rear with the um, cover I've pulled the power lead out now so that's all covered in just uh, a little bit safer than if it wasn't there plus some information for anyone looking at this what that's all about because it's not in the normal manual it's just something we've added ourselves